Good morning. Today we're going to be creating posters to celebrate the teachers at the Academy of Urban Planning. We know that they're brilliant and hardworking and really care about your success, so today we're going to uh, reciprocate by celebrating everything they do. We're going to be creating posters that they will uh, adorn in the hallways. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is find out uh, the teacher that we were assigned to. You're going to find that in the link. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to sort of find out some information uh, right here. So for example, if you have um, Susanna Seraldi, you're going to click on that link on the AUP website and find a little bit of info from her. Next, what we need to do is create cutouts. So in Photoshop, you guys are very familiar with this. You're going to use the magnetic lasso and other selection tools to extract the individual, copy and paste it into a new layer, and then apply curves. And I'm going to show you one more technique today. So we know that everybody on every cover we see right here has been Photoshopped. Um, among the things they use are like the... Uh, band-aid tool to sort of clean up their complexion along with um, whitening their teeth. I'm going to give you an example of that. So I know that I go to the dentist four times a year. I know that I brush my teeth twice a day, but like every normal human being, my teeth are not as white as the fake people on the covers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magnetic lasso. I'm going to go like so. I'm going to create a selection. And now once we've got a selection, I'm going to press control U. I'm going to change the edit function from master to yellow and then I'm gonna drop not the saturation but oh that's scary hold on yeah the saturation and then increase the lightness a little bit and when I press OK all of a sudden I've got that beautiful smile unlike before if you guys have any questions about this uh, let me know you might want to apply that to one or two of the teachers we know that we've all so I'm going to review very quickly what you should be doing with your cutout. You're going to use the magnetic lasso. You're going to go through. You're going to create an amazing selection. You're going to take your time using a range of selection tools, adding and subtracting. And once you've got a selection, you're going to press Control C, and then you're going to go to File New, and then press OK. And then when you do that, it might take a second. Let's go. Press Control V. There we go. So. Um, we need to now create a selection using the magnetic lasso tool. I think works best. You're going to then press Control U. You're going to change it from master to yellow. And then you're going to decrease the saturation and experiment and maybe increase the lightness a little bit. You're going to press OK. Now I'm press Control D. And now all of a sudden that looks great. Now I'm going to press Control M. Or, that's right, or go to Image, Adjusts, Curves. Great. And you're going to create a slight S-curves in which the lights are a little bit lighter, the darks are a little bit darker. Uh, and that looks wonderful. Finally, you're going to save this as a PSD. Submit to me the PSD. You're going to save it as Sandoval, in my case, Portrait by Drozd. As a PSD, you're going to click Save. Obviously, yours is going to be much better. I look forward to seeing your work. Good luck. Also got the um, Spot Healing Brush along with the Healing Brush Patch Tool and Red Eye Tool to enhance the quality of your images. We want the teachers to look brilliant. We want them to look amazing. You guys are going to do that by applying your skills. So, almost done. Once we make that selection um, and create this image, what we're going to do next is and resolution of my image is probably going to be a little bit smaller. We're going to be um, setting it up by applying the rule of thirds. So we're going to sort of imagine that there's a tic-tac-toe grid, and the head of the, your uh, teacher should be in the upper left-hand um, intersection, so about right there. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to put images in the background that sort of represent the teacher, and you're going to write the teacher's name, or principal's name in this case, uh, right along the lower right line. So I'm going to do that right here. Do not worry today about color. So tomorrow's class, we're really going to be exploring color. There's going to be some overlap, so it looks a little bit like this. Uh, I'm looking for images that represent your teacher. You're going to find out that information right here. You can definitely include um, their alma maters, where they went to school, Syracuse University and CUNY. If you wanted to get images, logos, for example, so I'm going to go to Syracuse University, and I'm going to type in logo. I'm going to go to images. And so now we can see that we've got lots of great uh, 
ingredients for this wonderful poster. I can't wait to see your work. This is the first of a two-day project. Send me your work as a JPEG at the end of class. Good luck.